Hey everybody, Tom here at Buxton Auto. Been a while since I filmed a video about the dealer auction. I got one for you here. If you look behind me, you will see a uh, snazzy Chevy Trailblazer I got at the auction. Pretty happy with it. One of the cleaner cars I've bought at the auction. It's an O2. I paid uh, $1,300. Then I paid $275 between the buyer's fee and the online buyer fee. So we're in it for $15.75. Check engine light was on and my scanner wasn't working. So it scanned for an EVAP code and a camshaft position sensor. We've cleared those codes in the process of driving the car to get the uh, monitors to reset if they need to. Sometimes when the car is set up or if they've been jumped off, you get some erroneous codes. Uh, charge the AC compressor up. The Schrader valve was leaking, so we replaced the Schrader valve, charged it up, air blows cold, and uh, turn signal right front isn't working, so we've got that disassembled right now. It actually, for whatever reason, is actually missing the connector, so we got a connector ordered. And uh, so that's this car as of this moment. Like I said, I saw this car. It was a new car trade-in. I generally just buy new car trade-ins. Um, big dealers don't really want to hide anything. There is uh, a really nice clean leather interior. The carpet's good. The body's pretty straight. The tires are pretty good. So, like I said, we, uh, we put the car, uh, fit, charged up the air conditioner, and I took the car down the road. And then here's some of the dealer auction joy. You know, people have this misconception that the dealer auction is cars are dirt cheap and uh, you just make money hand over fist this one is what i call a pooch screwer what a pooch screwer is is uh, comes from the phrase screw in the pooch car looked good started up let it run at the auction my only question would be is transmission gonna work 6l8 it's a 4l60 it may not work but it drove back to my shop less than a five minute ride then, like I said, we charged the air conditioner, cleaned out the codes, took it for a little bit longer ride. And guess what? After you drive and you come to a stop and the motor goes down to an idle, you lose all your oil pressure. So, this car pretty much needs an engine. Now, I got a couple choices. What am I going to do with it? Well, choice number one is... I got three, I would say. Three choices. Choice number one is take it back to the auction, run it through the auction again, dump it on some other dealer. Here's why I don't like that choice. One, karma's a bitch. Two, I'm an independent dealer, so I will get a high auction number. What that means is if they're running 300 cars, my car will probably be car number 299. And that means that there's not gonna be a lot of people still at the auction to bid on it. And dealers are always afraid to buy from little independent dealers because nine times out of ten, the car's there because the independent guy couldn't fix it and he just took it back to dump it on somebody. So chances that it sells and I get my money back are pretty slim. Option number two would be find a junkyard motor, put the junkyard motor in it, it's a pretty clean body, and uh, put it up for sale that way. I don't really like that one either because you know the motor is probably seven eight hundred dollars now we're at twenty four hundred plus i gotta pay labor so say we're at three grand all done for a 2002 trailblazer that'll probably sell for 35 in a perfect world just not worth it so what i have learned through my years of experience is when you come across the pooch screwer you just bend over, you screw the pooch, you take it up to keister, whatever phrase you want to use, and you move on. So what we're going to do is fix the tail light or headlight, hopefully drive the car long enough for the monitors to reset so we can get it inspected. And then we're going to advertise it for $2,200, $2,400. And we're going to be honest and transparent and say it may need a motor, may need an oil pump, probably needs a motor does run and drive you can get by with it like it is for now but this is the situation and this is why it's cheap it will be a difficult sale people will want to give you 1,000 cash today 
people will not understand that it will need work and that's why it's cheap but when the right buyer comes along the car will go away i will have a clear conscience because we have told them exactly what it's doing when they test drive it for any period of time they would find that out and i'm just not about having people throw rocks through my window because uh, we misled them or deceived them or they felt screwed i've been very fortunate that so far that's never happened every once in a while you get mf'd on the internet but uh, I'm, I'm a believer in just telling the truth and no, I will not lose any money. I will at least break even on this. Uh, I was telling Jeff, the mechanic here, that you know, back in the day when I had a real job and I was kind of doing this out of my driveway, if I could make $500 for what little effort I've just put out um, as a side hustle, I would have been ecstatic, I mean, beyond excited. The problem is when you own a shop and you have overhead and you have employees that depend on you and you would like to make a little profit, uh, $500 doesn't, doesn't really cut the mustard too much, unfortunately. So it is what it is. That's my story for today. Um, when you're buying cars at the dealer auction, particularly the cars that I buy, I buy cars that are gonna retail for four to $6,000. So. We're buying auction cars in the $1,500 to $2,500 range in most cases. A lot of what you're getting is stuff that is kind of worn out that you have to make some decisions on. So don't think just because a guy buys a car at the dealer auction, it's a guarantee that he's going to make a bunch of money. Uh, it's not always that way. But anyway, that's a video for you. Just a little talk about pooch screwing and how much fun we're going to have unloading this trailblazer. We'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks for watching. Give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already.